Today is the final day of the Democratic Renewal and Changes Johannesburg Conference. The two-day event stems from the political crises that have blighted our country, including destabilization, corruption, state capture, the sabotage of SOEs, and a toxic political culture that is removed from the interests of voters. That is according to the organizers. For more on this, we're joined by the organizers, Defend Our Democracy convener, Reverend Moss Nka. Thank you very much, sir, for availing yourself uh, this morning. I think maybe let's just go back to the initial plan and in terms of what actually brought about or birthed this idea. Well, the idea was brought about by the growing sense of discontent among South Africans about the state of affairs uh, in our democracy. The, uh, we had been over, over the last three years uh, treated uh, by appalling uh, stories of uh, corruption and state capture through the Zondo Commission, and added to which was uh, a growing undermining of, of our democratic uh, uh, state by means of vigilante groups that were being uh, publicly uh, displayed in defense of people who were fingered for um, uh, corruption but also the insurrection last July, which uh, South Africans will remember, uh, showed a very organized sense of uh, revolt and a, a sense of avoiding accountability by those that the Zondo Commission was slowly beginning to, to finger. And so all of these were saying to us that our democracy is not as safe as we hoped uh, it would be, that there was a, a sense that uh, South Africans who would begin to show uh, interest in their own citizenship uh, activism, uh, which was also in the, in the low turnout of voters in the last election, local government election, that South Africans were getting disenchanted uh, with the things as they were. And that was dangerous. I think that unless there uh, was a reigniting of the South Africans for to own and defend this democracy, uh, we would lose all of the gains that we've had over the last couple of decades. Right. Uh, and a number of speakers um, actually came out and they discussed a few issues, including electoral reform. Talk us through some of the most salient points that came out. Correct. I think that uh, the idea that the way <coughs> our, our country has continued over the last uh, several years of of democracy where the president, for example, is accountable to a party. And they, I think uh, uh, parties have always uh, uh, seemed to be quite clear that the, the party comes first and they, the nation second. I think South Africans are, are very unhappy with that and we could see that in our discussions here, uh, not only at this conference, but uh, uh, before this conference we had uh, consultations and workshops in different provinces uh, because we knew we would not be able to accommodate everybody at this conference. And so all of them were pointing towards electoral reform and saying we've got to have a system in which uh, politicians are held uh, more accountable. And then obviously there is also a sense that uh, we have South Africans feel they, they need to reclaim in the democracy. Currently it is being uh, something that uh, is very elitist, very removed from the people. Uh, there's a sense in which people feel alienated, even as you can see from the voter turnout that is increasingly low. There's a sense in which people, uh, South Africans are disengaging. And so the, the campaign is, has come up with a, a program of, of action that uh, will look at how to reclaim democracy so that South Africans feel it is their project, they must defend it. The other thing that came out very strongly is the, the need to professionalize the public service. Uh, as you'll know, one of the, the major uh, uh, things that have led us to where we are is the, the idea of, of uh, cadre de deployment, where ideology has, has trumped merit, uh, and the, 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 the conference is, is calling for a review of that and will be campaigning uh, around how we can do it, get to a point of uh, having merit rather than cadre de deployment. And of course, 
obviously to continue um, following through with the with the with the recommendations of the Zondo commissions uh, all of which are with the conference uh, welcomed those and, and feel they give us something to start with right it happened over a course of two days very pertinent issues were discussed then what that's correct yeah i think uh, we it's going to the conference is still continuing uh, till about four o'clock this afternoon but the, the the idea is to very clearly set out a program of action with regard to these four areas uh, campaigning around this uh, professionalizing uh, the public service. Uh, we shouldn't leave it only to uh, government to do uh, as, you know, do that in, at its own uh, leisure. The issue around the electoral reform, we know that there's a court case that has started the process in there, but if we left it to the politicians, we realized that they, they would drag their feet and they seem to have a vested interest in leaving things as they are. And so the campaign will be intensifying they work with regard to uh, how to get uh, the, the electoral system uh, reformed. Uh, but all in all, we, uh, the campaign has been a campaign, a loose campaign uh, up till this point. We're looking uh, to uh, building a, a solid movement with uh, institutional and organizational membership so that organizationally we are able to pursue in programmatic form those things that conference decides. Thank you very much, sir, for availing yourself this morning uh, and giving us some more detail.